Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Forest River, North Dakota. As you can see, we are here in the cornfield, and uh, we are chopping some corn here. Uh, we got Jim in the chopper. This one, we uh, the dealership just called. Uh, right after we finished combining, actually, and they said that they had a good deal on a leasel, leasable um, self-propelled chopper. And so, drove down there, took a look at it. Sure enough, they had this New Holland self-propelled sitting there. So, we got everything dialed in. Um, the dealership was up here, helped us get everything set, all the settings that we needed, everything like that. And, uh, so we filled two trailers full already. And now here we are on number three. Um, slowly chipping away at silage. I don't know if we're going to chop this whole field or not. Um... We're kind of going to have to see what we get. We might end up combining some of the field. Um, we'll see, I guess. Not 100% sure of what we're going to do, but we'll have to see as we go. Um, I did. We also put up another cutting of hay. Uh, Jim took care of a lot of that while I was dealing with a lot of paperwork on trying to get contracts set up things like that so we contracted all of the oats that we have in the bins um, for December uh, we contracted 9,000 bushels of oats uh, we have about 9,400 sitting in the bin so we contracted that uh, for December the remaining we'll see what we do with you can see we brought the corn head over because uh, corn is probably going to be our next uh, harvest crop. Um, we're up to 100 bales of grass. So I think we're going to have enough bales. We're not going to buy very many cows right away this first year. Uh, we're probably only going to buy like 20, 25 head. So we don't need a whole lot of hay uh, for them. Uh, and if we end up needing more, well, what happened here? Okay. Not sure why that cut out on me there. But, uh, if we do end up needing any more feed then uh, we will have the ability to just buy some bales. Um, but I think we should have enough. Uh, we do have the versatile sitting there, as you've seen, uh, to use for packing the silo. We got both trucks lined up. We got everything cleaned up uh, and put away, like our hay equipment. Um, is all cleaned up, put away in the shed. We put the feed mixer inside uh, the heated building so that way that's ready. And just kind of trying to get everything put away uh, while Jim was making hay. Um, so that was a huge help. Um, and he got everything hauled in, put in the building. So. We are, hopefully, we should be sitting pretty good on hay. Uh, I mean, we got, we'll have, we're going to get a lot of silage and stuff like that. So we should be fine for uh, feed for our 20 head. So we're just going to start small uh, with just, like I said, just 20, maybe 25. And then over the years we'll keep growing our herd uh whether it's just 
you know, calves that we keep back or additional cows that we buy. And we're not just driving through some random person's yard. This is a abandoned house here, so I'm not too worried about driving through it or through the yard, I should say. Oh, geez, Jim, you're missing. Old Jim. Yeah, this, I mean, it's definitely nothing fancy. It's nothing new. But uh, it is quite the chopper. Uh, it is going to be a huge help for us, so. It would be nice to get a larger silage wagon, because... This, as you're seeing, this wagon does not take very long to uh, get filled up. So, we are running back and forth a lot, but we kind of have to make do with what we got for now. I would eventually like to get a bigger chopper and get some semi-trailers or even just bigger uh, pull-behinds, but... I would like to get semi-trailers, that would be very nice. And a lot more room in them, so we could get a lot more done in one shot. See if we can climb over this pile here. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh boy. May have to pack this before we can dump more in here. I'm thinking if I can hug the wall a little more, we might be able to get over it. Yeah, there we go. Start dumping right about there and... What I kind of want to do is make like a wall. But at the same time, it'd be nice to be able to just drive through the pit. Trying to avoid having to dump all the way to the end here. Um, just because, as you guys see, we already got a bunch outside of the bunk. So what we're going to have to do is, at the end of the silage here, we'll have to, uh, before we blanket this, we'll have to come over with like the bobcat and scoop it up a little bit, kind of clean things up, at least a little. Alright, we got two more loads dumped in here, let's jump in here, and we're going to get this packed. We'll see how much silage we have in here now already. I'm sure quite a bit. The silage is adding up like mad. Yeah, 100... 111,873 liters in this thing already, which is ridiculous. We haven't even made a full round around the field yet. And another thing we could do too is we could just make a big huge pile of silage on the ground, or of chaff on the ground. And then, one, you know, if we empty this bunk, um, then we could refill it. But Jim also mentioned having seen an ad, somebody was getting rid of their old harvest store silo. So I would, I would like to look into that, because um, that would be fantastic to have a big silo too. And Jim did say that, you know, if 
it ends up being something that we that I buy or anything like that uh, we could move it over by that bin uh, at his place so we wouldn't have to try and squeeze it in here in the yard somewhere this is, I'm really not quite sure of where in this yard we could put it yeah we're just making a mess here but uh, I'm not really sure of where we could put it in this yard anymore we're I mean we're getting kind of full so and as you can see our pile does kind of slowly climb to this side which is kind of what I want So I, what I'm trying to do is every two loads I want to fully compact it just to kind of because if you if you stay on top of packing it it does help and you're not uh, trying to pack you know a million liters from zero percent up We've pushed 2,000 liters out of this thing already just by packing. So we'll definitely have to get the bobcat over here when we're done and try and clean this pile up a little bit because that's that's not good. Gotta try and keep this stuff in here. But during packing it down and everything, it's it's hard to do so. We're gonna call that good for now. 92% compacted, that's good enough. Jim's sitting there waiting, so I wanna try and try to not keep him waiting super, super long. As you can see, I got the bale wagon backed in, back behind the buildings, so then if I need to unhook the loader for this tractor again, uh, I can put it there and not be, it won't be in the way. Uh, I currently have it unhooked over in front of the uh, commodity building, so just dropped it there. I put the bale spear on and everything, and then did get the bobcat adjusted around to uh, we put the snow bucket and the bale spears and I think the pallet forks all are inside the main part of the small heated shop and then we got the bobcat hooked up to the regular dirt bucket uh, sitting in the side part of the building I think this is going to be some phenomenal yielding uh, corn when we go to combine as well. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty darn good, which is a good thing. We want a lot of grain so we can make a lot of money this fall, or this winter I should say. So, that'll be good. Full again. So yeah, this is kind of the plan of see where things go. Obviously, as you can see, we only have 64,000. So I'm really hoping that if 
this person wants to sell this silo truly that uh, they aren't gonna want a lot of money for it because we we really can't spend a lot right now um, granted I'm sure we're gonna have overrun on corn um, and I've been debating we might actually only keep one bin of uh, beans. So we currently, we have the three big bins, these two big bins, and then we also have, we're just going to let it dump until it quits here. Um, we've got, let's see, so we've got five bins here in the yard. We've got two bins in our other rented yard. And then we have the bin at Jim's. So we've got eight total bins that we can use. And... We've got three different crops. So I'm kind of thinking if the corn that we combine yields like this silage corn, we're probably gonna have a lot of bins of corn. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I wanna try and keep all of the corn in bins. Um, and we might, honestly, as soon as we're done chopping, we might jump straight into combining. Um, it is a little high on moisture. We might give it a little bit to dry down a little more. I think when we looked, I think we're at like 28 moisture right now. Um, I think that's what Jim and I found. So it, it's definitely way too wet to combine right now. But I'm thinking if we can get it to dry down to like 20... 22 even I think we would go ahead and combine um, and you know just throw it in the air bins turn the fans on that kind of thing that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm not not 100% yet, so don't quote me on anything here yet. But I would really like to keep the corn at home. And, uh, you know, keep it on air. And just dry it down some more. Yes, it's going to cost us, but... We stand to make a lot of money off of corn. So I would, like I said, I would like to kind of try and keep as much of it home as possible. And then I want to combine our sunflowers first because we're going to make a fair chunk of money off of those as well for the oil. So I'm thinking... We'll keep, if we fill every bin with corn, why are you shutting off on me here? What's going on with this tractor here? Fill engine with oil? What? It just said that I had like 4.7. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay. Well, we're going to have to run back to the farm. Let's go grab uh, Skid Steer. And we're going to have to grab the pallet of oil barrels here. Oh, 
wrong way. Okay, well, that is highly unfortunate. And then we're going to have to drive this over to the tractor. Oh, this is... Yeah, it showed that I had more time on it. Well, it is what it is. We will uh, just get it filled back up, I guess. But anyways, um, the plan, for sure, I want to keep the corn and the sunflowers in bins. If we haul all of the soybeans straight into the elevator, that's fine by me. Um, I really don't want to clean them out of a bin. They're such a pain. And of course, our oats are in the hopper bins. So, we can't, we could, I guess, in theory, pull the oats out of the hopper bin and put it in a big bin, but it's a lot of wasted space that I don't want. See, and now we're resetting to zero, so I don't understand, hmm. Okay, well, now that's running. What we're gonna do here, we're just gonna park the bobcat in the ditch. Cause you never know, we might even need it for that chopper yet. Nobody's gonna steal it, so. We're gonna be passing by it enough that we can keep an eye on it. So yeah, but we'll see how the bin space works out, I guess. Um, I'd like to at least put, at the worst case scenario, we fill all these five bins here in the yard with corn, and then we save those two over there for sunflowers, and then use the bin at gyms and throw some soybeans in it, or even use that for sunflowers as well. Um, oh, I should have went, yeah, we gotta go around. Then I'm going to back this in, and we're going to fill from the back. It's so much easier than trying to just keep laying the stuff across. We'll try and get it right. Oh, boy. This is going to be tight. Really? Okay. We're moving this guy. But that's kind of the plan, so I guess we'll have to see how things work out. Um, I'm not sure how many more videos I'm going to be putting out. Um, I mean, I'm recording this one here. Literally, when you guys see it, I just finished recording, and I instantly uploaded it. As you can see, it's 7 o'clock at night for me. Uh, here on Monday We started combining soybeans today and Within a few hours we ended up getting rained out so We uh, are home early tonight, but plan is to uh, get back at it tomorrow and uh, We got some wheat that we're gonna haul out as well so definitely busy busy so there might not be a lot of videos until after harvest which by that point yes fs25 will be out but 
I'm still going to do FS22 videos even after 25 comes out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do videos on 25 right away or if I'm going to wait a little bit. But I will do, I will be bringing videos at 25, don't worry. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to start playing right away or if I'm going to wait a little bit and let some mods come out, things like that. So, we'll see. But I will have videos of 25, but it'll probably be a combination of 25 as well as um, 22 for a little while. Because I am enjoying playing on this map. There's a lot of good mods, and I mean, I like this map. So, I would, oh boy, why did my keyboard quit? I think uh, it's getting close to time to change the batteries in my keyboard. Um, but, I I know right away, there, are, there probably will be some people putting mods out right away, not long after 25 comes out. But there's not going to be a lot, and I don't want to just play base game stuff, so I will be waiting a little while, um, but videos of 25 will come, don't worry, so we will get there. All right, we're gonna take this load to the yard and get this dumped, and then I think probably call it a video for today. Because then uh, I'm gonna finish this off camera, because this is a very highly repetitive process, so it does get boring. It gets boring for me. Um, silage is definitely one thing. I I don't do a whole lot of it very often. Just because I really don't like doing it. Um, more often than not, what I end up doing is I just wrap bales. And get my silage that way. But... In you really don't see a lot of people doing bales, you know, making silage that way. Everybody here around this area of North Dakota, um, as far as I know, everybody just chops. So that is the way that we're going to do it. Um, eventually, if we do get this harvest store. We'll probably just do haylage rather than, uh, you know, corn silage. But time will tell. Uh, let's dump on that other side here once. Try and even things out as we go. Yeah, I think my keyboard is dying on me here. I think my keyboard just completely died. Okay. All right. Well, since my keyboard wants to uh, slowly die, what uh, what I'm going to do is I end the video here. Um, and then I have to track down some batteries. So... That is going to be the plan. Um, so, I just wanted to thank all of you for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Talk to you folks later.